Okay, this is going to be a upload tutorial for my models, so Nova Pi's models, and then also GM's models. Um, you can use this tutorial to follow along to upload from other creators, um, but please make sure you still read the instructions that come with that specific model, just in case they have a little, like an extra step or something that our models might not have. Um, this is mainly for ours, though. This is like what we do to upload and what we recommend you do. Um, another thing I'll say is you might hear my keyboard. So sorry, I have a clickety clackety keyboard. So <laughs> you may hear that. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the, you're going to need two things to start off with. You will need the VR Chat Creator Companion, which you can find on the VR Chat website. And then, of course, you will need um, you will need Unity. Um, but if you install the Creator Companion first, uh, it usually will tell you, like, it will direct you to installing Unity and direct you to the correct Unity version to install. So usually, I would recommend download the Creator Companion first, and then it will kind of direct you from there to what Unity you need and what version you need. Um, so let's say you have all this, you already have Creator Companion and you have your Unity. The first thing you would do is you would create a new project. You would click Avatar. Um, for my example, I'm going to be doing Cupid, so Cupid upload. And I'm going to put PC because the PC and Quest will be separate, so we're going to walk through PC first. So once you have the Unity 22 avatar selected and you have it named, you can click Create Project. Let this load. Okay, the next thing is we need to see if there's any of the settings we need to change here. Um, usually you, what you're looking for will be found under the important information on the listing. So I'll drag this over here. Um, so this is the important information for Cupid. So as you can see, the Unity version, the SDK version, the shader, and shader, and then it says VRC Fury. Okay. So the SDK version refers to the VRChat SDK base and SDK avatars. So she has to be set to 3.74. Confirm. Confirm. And then it looks like we also need VRC Fury. Um, you will need VRC Fury won't automatically be here for you. You will need to get it online um, and then they, it will add it to your creator companion. I'll link um, VRC Fury in the description for you guys. Okay, once we have VRC Fury and the correct SDK versions, we can open the project. Once you have your project open, this is what Unity will look like. The very first thing you are going to do for the PC side is we are going to import our shaders. On Cupid's listing, under the important information, it said that we needed Pyomi and we needed the unlit shader. So you would download the Unity package and you would drag and drop. So I have all my shaders here. Your list will not be as large, but I have a lot of different versions. So I need this Pyomi version, and we'll just drag and drop into the Assets folder down below. Um, just let it load. This will also take a while to install.
once Pyomi is done installing, you can do the same thing with the unlit shaders. So we'll drag and drop it in here and click import. Um, it will prompt you for unlit. You'll get a prompt and you can just click no thanks. Okay, once you have all the um, required shaders imported, we can import the PC package. So it's the same exact thing how we did the shaders. You would click the PC package and drag and drop into the assets. Once you have your avatar project imported, you'll find an open me. Usually it's in the main folder, so it's like right, you'll see it right when you open the project. You can double click this. And now you should see your model. Let me... So it looks like I already have the main version for her hidden. Um, if you're installing Cupid and this annoys you, you can click it and the one that's keeping constraint, you can turn that off. Um, some models may have different variants. As you can see here, this is the fairy one, but if you look here, there's some ones that are um, hidden. So I click these and turn them on and you can see she has different versions. Um, so when you go to upload, you wanna pick your version. So let's say I want the dragon we're going to hide all the other ones. So you would select a model in the hierarchy. And on the right, the arrow up here is what hides them. Um, and then if you want to hide more than one, you shift click and you can select multiple. So I have shift clicked these and in the inspector, I'm going to press the check mark to hide. Okay, and now that you have her in here and you have the other versions hidden, we can um, we can upload. So the first thing you'll do is go up to the VR to SDK at the top and click Show Control Panel. Um, yours may show up as a pop out like like this, um, but I usually drag and drop mine over next to the inspector. Once you have this control panel open, log into your account, and then we can go to the Builder tab. Once you are logged in and you're on the Builder tab, it will look like this for you. Um, it may look a little different depending on the SDK version you use, but it's basically the same process. It's just a different, it might be a little bit different of a layout. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna name. So this one is Cupid Dragon. And then you can either select a file for the photo from your files, or you can capture one of the scene. I'll just capture one from here, for example. Let me just click capture. And we're just making sure there's nothing that needs to be fixed, which it doesn't look like it. You don't need to worry about any of this. This is fine. This is how it should look. Once we have it named and we have a photo, we can go down here to build and you'll see build and test and online publishing is what we want so you're gonna check the box that you agree the information above is correct and you click build and published um, if it asks you to fix the renders you can just click yes and let it upload You will know your avatar is uploaded at the bottom here once it says upload succeeded. Um, if for some reason it does not say it says upload fail, 
Um, the first thing I would recommend checking is go to your inspector tab, click your avatar, and look for the pipeline manager. It should be at the bottom, sometimes it's not, but it should be. Um, if for some reason there is something here in the blueprint ID, just click detach and then try and upload again in the builder tab. Sometimes there might be a code in there and it shouldn't be because it's not linked to you. Um, if this is empty and it's still giving you an ID issue, um, just put in a random ID. So go to the VR2 SDK con uh, content ID manager, copy an ID from one of your avatars, um, detach, put it in here, and then attach, and then it should be a attached once you attach it, and then detach. I need to put my ID back in though. Okay, so if your avatar comes with multiple variants, so this is why I use Cupid for an example. So let's say we just uploaded the PC side of the dragon, but we also want the other versions. Um, it's pretty much the same for the uploading process. So you would hide this one and let's say go to Fox. Um, the only thing you want to make sure when you upload a new variant so you're going to have two different uploads, a new variant, is you go to that ID, the pipeline ID manager. See how I have an ID in here? We want to make sure to detach. And then you would upload again. So you'd go to the VRChat SDK builder. Um, my Unity's bugging, but you would fill out all of this information here. So you'd do the name, Cupid, Fox, and then do your photo and then build and publish again. Okay, so now that we have our PC variants uploaded, we can do our quest side. Okay, so we are back at the VRChat Creator Companion. We are going to our quest side now. You'll create a new project again, Avatar. 2022 and we'll name this Cupid Quest. And then you'll click create project. And we would do the same thing for this. We would check to make sure the STK version is set to the correct version. So I need to do 3.7.4 for mine. And then that should be everything for the quest side for Cupid. Not every avatar's quest side will need VRC Fury. It will only need VRC Fury if it is stated on the listing. So if it does not state it, you do not need it for the quest side. Okay, now that we have our SDK set to the right version, we can open the project. Once you have the project open, the first thing we were going to do is actually set the project to Android version. To set your project to Android, you could do it through the SDK, but that's not what I personally do. Personally, what I do is I go up to File, Build Settings, and then I click Android, and then Switch Platform. Um, if you, you might not have it installed if this is your first time using Unity, so you will have to install the Android version, but it will prompt you on what to do to install it. So I'm going to Switch Platform, let that load a little bit. Okay, once it's done swapping, we can exit this out. And then all you need to do for Quest Side is just import the Quest version of the project. You don't need to import any shaders. If you accidentally import any shaders and then import the model for Quest, um, it may break something. So please, 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 for the Quest Side, do not import your shaders, only import the avatar project. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna import my package, Cupid Quest.
Once you have the quest side imported, you can find the Open Me and the Assets at the bottom and double click. As you can see, we have our variants. It will be the same exact thing with the quest side. So we will go to our quest versions and we will hide all the ones but the one we want to upload. So I did the dragon version, so I'll be linking my dragon version. In the same process here, we have all the other ones hidden but the dragon one. And then go to the VR chat SDK, show control panel, and then log in. Once you are logged in, you can navigate over to the builder tab and you will see everything is looking good. Um, so now the question I usually get is how do we link the quest and the PC side together? To do this, we would go to the content manager and then you would find the avatar version you uploaded that you're connecting to. So you can see here I have Cupid Dragon, copy ID. Once you've copied the ID, go over to the inspector, make sure you have your avatar selected and in the inspector, scroll down to the pipeline manager and you will paste that code that you copied. So you can do control V and that, see the IDs here now, and then attach. Now, since the ID is attached, once you go to the VR chat SDK and you go to the builder, it will show all the information that you originally filled out on the PC side and you would be good to upload. You can see here for me, I have texture fet format is on Android be set to ASTC. If you get the texture format uh, pop up here, you can just click auto fix. Now we can upload. You'll know it's done uploading once it says upload succeeded at the bottom. Um, if you were someone with Cupid that uploaded more than one variant, you would it's the same process as you did this one. You would hide everyone but the one you want to upload. So let's say Fox. There's the Fox. And then you would go to the VRChat SDK, go to the Content Manager, and then look for your model that you uploaded to the PC side for the Fox variant. I don't have one, so I'll just do like I'll just do my one I have named Nova for example. I'd copy ID, go to the inspector with the Cupid Fox variant selected. I go to the pipeline manager, control V to paste, and then click attached. And now when I go to the VR chat SDK and to the builder tab, it is now connected to my Nova model and I could upload and cause to be uploaded. And that is the end of the tutorial. Now, there may be issues that come up sometimes. If you have any more issues beyond the point, you, you know, you did everything, you followed every single step I provide, and it still doesn't upload, use the help channel in my server, and we will do the best to help you and figure out why it isn't working. And if there is an issue on our end, we will fix it.